Hello, today's video we have the following content. How is Wang Yibo's overall performance in the TV series Storm Chaser? In the TV series The Storm Chaser, Wang Yibo plays the role of Wei Rule. Wei Rule is a young man from a poor background but full of enterprising spirit and courage. His simplicity and hard work are touching. In order to get into the job of the central bank, he went through the fire examination, rigorous professional interviews and other tests, showing the characteristics of calmness, drive, super memory and reasoning ability, and finally realized his ambition. In the storm chaser, Wang Yibo's acting skills are worthy of recognition, but there are also areas that need improvement. Some netizens believe that Wei Rule, played by Wang Yibo in the drama, is a fledgling low-level figure so his ignorant and youthful performances in the first few episodes are in line with the needs of the character. In subsequent episodes, Wang Yibo demonstrated his ability to handle the emotional changes of his characters. When he was arrested and imprisoned by Lin Kaiyasong, whether it was his eyes or the entire character's state, the weakness and confusion reflected the character's powerlessness. In addition, Wang Yibo's performance is also remarkable in terms of grasping the emotional scenes and controlling the rhythm, which can resonate with the audience. In the TV series The Storm Chaser, Wang Yibo's overall performance is remarkable. The character he created, Wei Rule, was a young man from a poor background but full of enterprising spirit and courage. Director Yao Ziya Feng commented that he is a very clean and young boy. Facts have proved that this choice was right. In terms of appearance and appearance, Wang Yibo's image and temperament are in line with the role setting. His appearance and expression management in the play are also relatively appropriate, leaving a good first impression on the audience. In terms of line skills, Wang Yibo's tone of voice when speaking lines has a lifelike temperament, and his emotional expression and catharsis are full. In terms of acting, Wang Yibo vividly displayed Wei Rule's inner struggle and uneasiness through his delicate performance, making the character more three-dimensional in flesh and blood. In terms of character interpretation, Wang Yibo vividly interpreted Wei Rule's growth and changes, from youth to maturity, and every detail was handled just right. Wang Yibo vividly displayed Wei Rule's inner world through his superb acting skills. At a cocktail party, his simplicity and frankness were in sharp contrast to the surrounding luxurious environment, but they were not obtrusive. He didn't care about the eyes of others and enjoyed the happiness of the moment. This scene is impressive. With a real and vivid character creation, Wang Yibo perfectly blended the bitterness of Wei Rulei's life experience with his optimistic attitude towards life, making people feel the realness and vividness of this character. His humility and perseverance in the face of tedious work and the intimidation of others are also moving. Generally speaking, Wang Yibo's performance in Wind Chaser has been well received by the audience. The character he portrayed, Wei Rulei, is a young man from a poor background but full of enterprising spirit and courage. His simplicity and hard work are touching. I have to say that Wei Rule, played by Wang Yibo, and his fiancée are really a perfect match. At first, the landlord Aunt Jo introduced a partner to Wei Rule. Wei Rule said that he had a fiancée in his hometown, whom he had been dating since he was a child. Everyone thought he was being clever. I never thought it was true. In the plot on the 30th, the fiancé from her hometown in the countryside came to the door and went directly to the central bank to block Wei Rule. It felt like the whole bank was going to suffer collectively. Before the storm chaser, Wei Rulei's emotional line was rarely filmed. The childhood sweetheart came to Wei Rulei, which was like adding a big spoonful of sugar to this serious plot. Moreover, this fiancé did not follow the usual path. When she met the eldest lady, she did not get jealous or get into trouble. Instead, she sold Wei Rulei for 20 yuan, which made people burst into laughter. Netizens shouted anxiously that she did not know that Wei Rule could earn 50 yuan a month, and even said that he would give her all the money he had earned in the past 30 years. What a huge loss. As soon as his fiancé arrived, Wei Rule's dark history was exposed. It turns out that he was still wetting the bed when he was 7 years old. He would wet the bed if he wiped it, cry if he touched it, and he could be tricked into taking away a bunch of candied haws. Wei Rule's nickname is Gukuse. Netizens found out about the famous Zhang Zi Ti Gukun Aot. <laughs> no wonder netizens gave Wei Rule, who likes white and black cuts, the nickname Human Camellia. After a long time, he is not a Camellia, he is Gukun Aot. The arrival of the fiancé naturally leads to the counterfeit currency case, pushing the plot to the next stage. There were also two hilarious episodes on the 30th, 
which greatly increased the audience's enthusiasm, and IQIE's popularity exceeded the 9,500 mark in one fell swoop. There may be some viewers who want to buy it all before watching. I believe the editor, the happiest thing is to follow the show together. Hurry up and join the growing team of wind chasers and become a happy storm chaser.